the technology is just a tool that we use to make the most exciting music that we can. Hey, Don, greetings from Orange County, California. How are you, sir? Hey, how you doing, Anthem? It's good to see you, man. You know, it's uh, two cans and a piece of string before, but now we have uh, the internet. I listen to the scratch tracks, and uh, uh, you know, I'm open to getting your head first. Yeah, well, really, this piece is—it's real happy, upbeat, as you as you heard. Um, the most important thing is that uh, I really want the the kit to kind of come in at 17 with okay. bum bum. one right there now this isn't the first project I've worked on uh, remotely I've written a lot of music while I'm traveling staying at a hotel uh, I've even done some work in the airport um, I've worked on my parents kitchen table I've sent a lot of tracks off to studios or other uh, composers I'm working with but on this project I had the ability to get a live performance with the drums uh, but we only had about two days had the opportunity to work with Anthem. He just got a new set of drum pads, uh, which I was very excited about because this way he could track MIDI, send them over to me, and then I'd be able to use my own drum modules and uh, get just the drum sounds I wanted, but still have that real human performance. We already had the cameras rolling to capture some behind the scenes footage. So I went ahead and asked Anthem a little bit about his setup. This is a Pintech Concert Cast Dual Zone drum set. Uh, you can see just right here in the room, there's no, you know, they're just mesh pads. No sound, but the feel of an acoustic drum set, but, um, you know, not the ambient noise and all that. The setup for this drum set is actually really simple. Uh, you can plug in any module to, uh, you know, connect these pads to it, and I just run USB right into a MacBook Pro. Well, I'm just using a stock garage band. It's simple, you know, as a drummer, you just want to get in and, and play and, and capture the performance. For me, I like to plug and play. Well, the key to recording drums is uh, being efficient in your process. I'll receive the file, and then I'll zip those over to my iPhone or my iPad, and I'll listen to them for as much time as I have before the session. I get kind of uh, into the song, and then I'll get behind the kit and uh, do a couple uh, run-throughs. Give, give me that fill again. When's that coming in again? That's uh, right about 17. 17. Okay, we back up to here.
Thank <laughs> you.